Yeah. All right, so I've been working on the Galaxy here. In the last video, you've seen me get it running. That's about as far as we've got. Um, I've ran into some problems. So originally I thought the carburetor might have had something stuck or plugged up and um, I tried taking this one apart and uh, trying to find a rebuild kit for it, but it ended up just being a cheap Chinese carburetor. So I got on Amazon and ordered a uh, ordered another cheaper one, but they're supposed to be really good. It's just a little like a Haggerty recommends it and everything it's just a little cheaper carburetor it was 90 bucks and i put it on there and i still didn't get it to run and so i didn't see any point in putting that clip in here or anything but i couldn't get it to run i've been having problems with it and at this point i know it's the ignition and uh i noticed that when i pulled the distributor cap off that the spark in between the points is really really uh, you can see it a lot and I don't have a whole lot of experience with points but I got to thinking about it and I looked it up and this uh, you know when the condenser is bad the spark don't want to go through the points very well and that creates weak, weak spark so I think that's what's going on in this motor it's got weak spark and uh, I even replaced the spark plugs with some new ones and the goal today is just to get it running and maybe get it pulled out of here. Okay, so I already pulled the condenser off of here. Pulled that rotor off. I already pulled the condenser off of here and it was just one screw. And I actually, when I went to O'Reilly's, the guy told me that these cars actually came with dual points. And this is a single point system, so this might not even be the right distributor for this car but it's what we have right now and it's what we're gonna use. So here is the, here is the connector for the old points. We're gonna go ahead and take them out. Just got two flathead screws in here. So here's our new set of points. Okay, you can see this cam, this cam on this uh, distributor. You can see it has high points and low points. Um, and we've got it on the high point there. And basically now what we're gonna do is we're going to open this up to where it's supposed to be and tighten that screw down so that gap will be set correctly and then we can put our condenser in and it just screws in right here okay so i've got my feeler gauge we got it on the high point of the cam there i'm going to set this at 17 thousandths so we're going to Feeler gauge in. Tighten that up. So you can see the see the points right here, the contacts. The other ones were just wore down. But you can see we're on the low part of the cam right there. We're gonna pull it back and you can see that thing opening. And that's what we set at 17 thousandths. So we can go back down to where it was so we don't mess our timing up too bad. And it's closed. So another thing you can do before you put it back together, just get it up on that cam again and put your feeler gauge through there and make sure it's right. We're gonna have to set our ignition timing anyway. I'm gonna leave it about right there. Um, we can actually go ahead and time this motor when it gets to running. Okay, we got our ignition system put back together. I replaced the points in the condenser and uh, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get this thing to fire. I've got uh, voltage at 
coil. Not as much as I'd like to have, but hopefully it'll be enough to fire it. This car is having an issue where it don't want to start off with a key. Let's give her, give her a few pumps and see what happens. Don't sound too bad. It worked. It's running really good, but we got a major vacuum leak somewhere. So I'm gonna do some investigating on that and I'll uh, get back with you guys. Well, I figured out a problem. We just had a carburetor gasket leak and I got it fixed. little carburetor that little cheap carburetor it's just sitting here idling sounds good too wow steering works awesome this is so cool I love this doing this kind of stuff well hey let's uh shut our hood down I think that tire is a little low or one of them is ah good enough let's see if it'll Move on its own power here. Such a good feeling. I was, I was having a hard, really hard time with this, trying to figure this out. It's got drive. Tires are definitely low. The brakes work. I think our brakes, I think our brakes are locked up on the back a little bit.
There she is, guys. I definitely think the brakes are a little stuck on the back. That might come out of it, but uh, I think I'm gonna pull it up here and put a little more air in the tires. And then we'll see if it'll make it down the road a little bit. Notice the back brakes are, like after you use them a little bit, they'll slip just a tad, but I think it's kind of going away. Yeah. Let's feel it. Yeah, the brakes are stuck. There we go. It's like a boat. Yeah. <laughs> Deputy 40 on those, they'll take care of that.
Oh, dude, we got to get it back now. <laughs> oh, the tire. You better go. <laughs> Freaking go. <laughs> this thing's got the turn, turn and radius of a hill, but we just got... Oh, oh did it completely way. go? Yeah. Oh. Dang it. Dang, that sucks. You go to the gas station and back on that. <laughs> oh, man. God, she's smoking bad. Just take her easy, no burnouts now. Oh my god. I've got an extra tire and put on it. Hopefully, it don't ruin the rim. Yeah, I know. I think we gotta get the trailer. Swinch it. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> right there yeah I know that's a steel wheel yeah and these <laughs> are all sucks. and these are all of freaking those arch rocks okay <laughs> is it off the bead I don't know man <laughs> I think it'll be okay if we just take it slow yeah just take her easy no burnouts now that's it. Yeah. Definitely hurt the ride quality just a bit. It's not getting into the body, is it? Oh, surely not. That's of course. What, and ruin all this? Is this a success or is this not a success? <laughs> is, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, we'll I call guess. it a success. I got another tire. I got another wheel too, so if I ruin this wheel. Well, I mean, look at it like this. We're still driving it back. Hey, she runs though. Yeah. Did it spin on? Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it left a black marker. It's no, on. it didn't. Yes, it did. Oh boy. Yeah, I got it on video. One of those. Oh boy. Well, good thing it ain't washboarded right now, huh? Yeah. Even though it feels like it. God. Hey, neighbor. They're like, what the heck's he doing? <laughs> well, surely they can see the tires blowing out. It ain't stinking as bad as it was. No, not now. I mean, kind of. Unlike riding the neighborhood. Yeah, riding the old neighborhood. Well, it's probably gonna be all on the galaxy for now. We had a blowout, as you've seen in the video, and I just put a old tire I had laying around with a wheel on it, and it's just gonna have to wait until we figure out what's going on with it next. So. Um, I don't want to be running it down the road with two different size tires on it and having another blowout. So we're just going to have to see what this thing has in store for it. And next video, I'll probably wash it and then I'll kind of update you guys as to what's going to happen with this thing and where it's going to go next. So thank you for watching.